Okay, did everybody walk through today's video? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to put that S spring in. This is a Ford 8.8, and it's not as scary as what you really think. I see a lot of people are afraid that the spring is gonna pop out and get them in the eyes. I'm not saying that can't happen, but from what I see with this spring, doesn't seem to be a whole lot of tension to it. And this one is 4.10 gears, which is supposed to have the heavier duty, stronger spring. I just inspected the clutch. So what I'm gonna do, there's only two tools I need for this. Brass hammer and my needle nose vice grips. I'm gonna clamp this end as tight as I can. I'm gonna feed it in there. And I'm gonna take my brass hammer and tap it into place. Enough that I can get the retaining pin right there in. All right. Get this on both cameras. Just one end like that, right? I'm gonna feed this in. Now this is a kind of like the, the trick. I'm gonna put it in place. I'm gonna tilt back like that. Take my brass hammer. You can see I'm already starting to go in. Which is good. Except I'm going in crooked. Now if you find that you're going in a little crooked, use your brass punch. We're going to straighten that out. A little bit more. And it looks like, looks like I can be in. I got it set up. I have it aligned. So now you can take your brass hammer, tap the side our feed on the edges to finish getting it down into place it's looking good it's looking good I'm gonna take my my brass punch I got it down enough that I can pull out this before it gets in there now just get my brass punch in there right on the edge of it now I'm past the gear part which I'm just going to use brass hammer you can see right there We're doing good Do I have the room yet? I don't think I'm in place fully. If you find after getting the spring in that the holes don't line up, don't be afraid to take a brass punch and kind of tap the gear. Brass punch is softer than what the spider gear is. So you're not going to do any damage to it. Also use a brass hammer. That way you can tap it in until the holes are pretty much aligned. See them starting to turn. Kind of drop my bolt right there so I know when I'm coming through. I'm gonna drop it right in place. We're good. Now of course you would use Loctite on that bolt so it doesn't come out, but I'm just did an inspection 
and throwing it back together. I'm gonna sell it with new clutch packs. There you go. There you have it. It's not as scary as you think to get that spring back in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be safe, use of my protection. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.